Most he did down in the Central Valley. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and over over a false site. How does how does this how does this differ from Bolivia? <laughs> I don't know about Bolivia. Well, Bolivia, the, the corporations came in and the government colluded. That they said, you know, the people don't have the right to their own water, and the people rose up and told them to get screwed, and, and they got their rights back. And you see that, well, you know, the the the, uh, the, the sad case of the gentleman in uh, in uh, Ashland, who basically has a little, you know, uh, he has a little pond in the back that the rainwater collects it, and they're trying to say, well. You don't have the ability to collect rainwater. That that water belongs to the county or the city or whoever. But it doesn't belong to you, even though it falls on your ground or it comes off your roof. Um, but this is what they're trying to do. And they're trying to take away, because understand, they don't give a damn about the salmon. They don't give a damn about the rivers. They don't give a damn about any of this. What they do care about is the destruction of private property ownership. Right. Because it's only through private property ownership that our economy drives and our wealth is accumulated individually and the control that we have. By eliminating that, by taking it away and destroying it, they will take control of, our, of, of the wealth of this nation and put it into the hands of the government. Yeah. Yes, uh, we come from over uh, the valley. All my family farms. Right now, the state and the Corps of Engineers is taking the Sacramento River. And what they do is they're re rehabbing the levees. But before they rehab the levees, what they're doing is asking the farmers or the landowners to pay taxes to Water's Edge, and traditionally pay taxes like Pusa County, to Water's Edge to relinquish, relinquish control of that land. They're not saying you're going to be relieved of taxes, but the land becomes under the control of the state where the levy is, and possibly becomes public land instead of private, even though you're paying taxes on it. My, my family would brother would refuse to sign. They said, well, we can't do the levy if you don't sign it. And if it breaks, you know, that's you, you're responsible for it or you're, it's your fault. He says, so be it. It's not my fault. It's, you know, you can fix it. Go ahead and fix it, but you know, I'm not signing the agreement. They ended up doing it without signing the agreement. Right. The other thing that happened to show you what can happen is out in Glen County is a large underground supply of water. The state has gone out and drilled the farm, the, the landowners got understood what they were doing. They were going to drill and they, they were going to take that water and basically ship it to Southern California. So over there, they and they're doing the same thing. Like large corporations will come in and drill, wall, buy a piece of property, and then farm corporations and they pump it into the canal, and they say, "Well, we're pumped out. This water is ours, and they just down there, it's ours." Yeah. What we're seeing is, is you know, not only are they in California, they're, and in, in some counties they've already passed this legislation. But what they're trying to do is they're trying to say, okay, well, if you have a well, we're going to have to put a monitor on your well. Right. And then we're going we're gonna to assess you how much water you're drawing out to see if you're taking too much water and if you're impacting the watershed at all. Right. And, and so you're, you're seeing to where in, in Humboldt County now, you cannot build unless you're on a water system or sewer system. So they have stopped all, all rural expansion, and this is all Agenda 21. This is all Agenda 21 group because they want to shut down suburban and rural living. You know, we talked about, I, you know, I, I talked about this a while back. One of the other issues we have is the land management plan that they put in for this into Delaware County. 
the state of California and, and the county of Del Norte. We utilize a transmitter site on the top of Red Mountain. Now we've had that site, that site's been managed and run by the state of California since 1957. It's been in existence since the 30s as an observation for fires. And then during the wartime, it was actually an observation for German, in case there were Japanese boats <coughs> off the coast, it would, it would spot the Japanese, and a radio tower, and they actually had an, air, uh, an airstrip up there on the top of Red Mountain. So it's been in operation and utilized for, for various purposes, but primarily as a radio transmitter site since, since 1957. Well, in 1995, when they passed their land management plan for the, this area as well as the, na the national forest for this whole area. But in that national plan, the top of Red Mountain was not designated a transmitter site. So in 1997, when the state of California wanted to go in and, and refurbish that site, rebuild, they were told no. They were told no, and in fact they said, you have to be out at the end of your lease in 2022. So the only site that Del Norte County had on the south end of the county to provide service in radio traffic and emergency services to the Klamath community and up and down that river on the south side has been told no, that they have to be out of there by 2022. The state had put, away, put in millions of dollars to refurbish that site and they've been denied access. Why? Well, because they didn't indicate it as a transmitter site on their adopted land management plan. Now, the state has objected, the state has protested, the state has operated and worked to try to get it put back on as a transmitter site. The National Forest Service will not have any of it. Because their plan for that whole area is to eliminate all the roads and any human habitation in this area. Any evidence of human habitation. Well, part of that is the Wildlands Project requires that for an area to be designated as such, you have to have no road within 5,000 acres. So the travel management plan pairs these roads out. Then these all become wildlands, and once they're wildlands, you cannot do a damn thing in those forests. You'll never be a tree harvested, nothing will happen. So who are you talking about the floor? What's that? Who are they saving the floor? Not for you or me. They're saving it for generations in the future. So that they will have the ability to have everything in this sustainable development, right? One of my, my emergency manager for Del Mar County, she went away to get training for what's going to happen after we get an a earthquake immediately off our coast, if the Cascadia seduction zone goes, what's going to happen? So at this meeting, we covered what would be done over the first 72 hours. And then the gentleman from FEMA told, told us that for Humboldt, Mendocino, and Del Norte County, that along the coast, when this happens, the plan is that we will all be relocated out of our communities to camps on the inside I-5 corridor. I'm glad there's still guns around. Yes. <laughs> and what was even more important was when they said that after relocation, that this area is designated not to be resettled. That it would be eliminated and, and closed off. No, they would not be rebuilding in this area at all and not allow humans to come back in. This sounds like Andrew Jackson back in 1825. The Trail of Tears. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because if you look at those plans, if you look at those maps that they've created for these wildlife corridors, these corridors of, of the return back to nature. Well, we're right in it. Smack dab up the middle of it. Humboldt Networks as you can. Well, this is the, this is the, this is the generation that they said, basically, if, if the earthquake happened, the devastation to our community, the devastation to, to the infrastructure in this area, would be so severe that it would not be financially feasible, there is a definition, financially feasible, to come in and rebuild. It would be cheaper to just move us out. Would that include San Francisco? No. Not San Francisco. That's an urban area, and, and that's where we're supposed to be moved back to. 